Hi, I'm Slade Ahmed, I'm a consultant hip surgeon here at the Horton Centre. Pain in the groin is one of the first few signs that you've got uh, an issue uh, with your hip joint. The next thing is a, a, a limitation in simple activities. So going up and down stairs, uh, going on long walks, which a lot of my patients enjoy doing, they find it difficult to do as a result of the pain that they're experiencing. Uh, and then they compensate for this by uh, uh, adapting and going on shorter walks and uh, not doing much during uh, their day-to-day -day activities. Uh, the third thing is stiffness. Uh, the way you know that your hip is, not, is, is getting stiff is if simple activities like putting on your socks and shoes uh, become difficult, uh, you then start using a shoehorn because you can't reach down to your shoe uh, or start wearing loafers uh, because they can't do up their laces any longer. Um, fourth sign is when um, everything else that you've tried in order to try and deal with the hip pain is not working any longer. So things like paracetamol, ibuprofen, physiotherapy, uh, once tried all those things and uh, uh, the hip pain still uh, persists and prevents them from performing simple activities of daily living. And th the most exciting part about hip replacement surgery and what attracted me towards it is how quickly one can recover from hip replacement and go back to all their normal activities. Uh, um, and this really centers around uh, the approach to the hip joint. So performing a hip replacement by really minimal soft tissue trauma, uh, not disturbing any of the muscles around the hip, uh, and, and reattaching tendons that you've taken off exactly where uh, um, they were taken off from. This allows uh, my patients to get up and walk uh, straight after surgery and, and wean off their crutches within a few days. Uh, and this approach really is uh, termed as uh, minimally invasive uh, surgery. So your recovery after a hip replacement, you're usually in hospital for uh, one or two nights. Um, by the two week mark, your wound is healed uh, um, and you don't require a dressing any longer. Um, I use absorbable sutures, so you shouldn't need, uh, there's nothing to take off following the dressing having come off. Uh, there, there will be a bit of bruising, swelling around the outside of the hip, but this settles down over the next few days. By the time you get to the four week mark, you're usually doing, you're usually, you've usually gained a lot more of your independence. You can go out shopping, uh, you can start driving if you can make an emergency stop. Uh, and by the six week mark, really, uh, you're looking to the future. You can start thinking about a holiday, um, you can go back onto the golf range and try and see if you can uh, swing on the driving range to see if that feels comfortable and your hip starts to feel a lot more supple. Uh, um, and usually after this stage, uh, uh, most of my patients have gone back to all their normal activities.